Yep, I did pull the trigger out and I did buy it, however. <laughs> I just wanted to film like a proper nice unboxing video and I looked at the bag and I was like that's not the bag I chose in store. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel to a very short and very sad video today <laughs> because if you have seen my Dubai shopping vlogs like I absolutely love Dubai it was such a great experience the shops, like the malls that they have, they're like cities in themselves. <laughs> you know, I tried on the Bottega Veneta chain pouch for like the 1000th time, I think. And uh, especially the grape one, if you can remember. And I absolutely love that color. And so many of you, I think, prefer that color as well over the black. And uh, I finally pulled the trigger. So to reveal. Yep. I did pull the trigger out and I did buy it, however, <laughs> I just wanted to film like a proper nice unboxing video and I looked at the bag and I was like, that's not the bag I chose in store. That is 100% not the bag I chose in store and I did not unbox it up until we were back here in London simply because I wanted to show you like a proper unboxing, you know, I wanted to do a proper one with you guys. And um, yeah, I just did it and I was like, oh God, <laughs> I was really, really shocked when I saw the bag. So what I do, most of you guys know I'm very OCD, right? So what I usually do is I like to see at least three models if they have them in the boutique, um, if not more, <laughs> to choose the perfect bag in terms of, you know, shape, um, hardware, that there are no scratches, etc., etc. And with this one, I did find the perfect bag in the boutique and um, it's not the one she actually gave me in the end. Um, so I asked the SA, of course, to, you know, grab that one. Maybe she, you know, maybe it was not a bad will or anything. Maybe it was just, you know, she mixed them up or I don't know what. But this must have been, I guess, a display model for quite a while because it's got so many scratches and dents and we get into this. So I'm going to show this to you now. And oh, I'm just so sad because now I have to rearrange for the bag to be collected again. And I guess I'm not going to get this bag up until the shops will open again in London because I'm not going to just order another one. And then who knows what I get, right? So I might just decide to wait until like Harrods opens again and then buy the bag again in person and, you know, really pay attention in store already if they actually gave me the bag that I wanted. Um, this is quite unfortunate, but luckily, you know, no matter if it's Louis Vuitton, Bottega, Gucci, Chanel, you can exchange bags anywhere in the world, no matter where you bought them from. So, you know, fingers crossed <laughs> that there's no problems. I rearranged the collection already. And yeah, okay, let's get into the bag. Okay, guys, so I hope that the camera will pick up all the details now. I have my ring light pointing on it. So hopefully, wait, let me try and rearrange this light a little bit. Okay, it's not really changing. I hope you can see. So first of all... Like that, you know, it's not stuffed at the moment. If it was stuffed, it would look a little bit, you know, bigger. Um, the shape like this, if you don't pay attention to it, it looks like a normal Bottega Veneta pouch clutch. So, um, chain pouch, sorry. So this is how I got it out of the dust bag and it's fine. I was like, oh yeah, it's perfect. The leather is really smooth and soft the way it should be. However, it's only from the front side. I don't know if it has a back side and a front side, but from one side, <laughs> you know, it looks really nice and the leather is really soft and smooth and everything looks fine. However, if you then turn the back around, can you see this? How many dents? Let me try and get closer. So I don't know if the bag was stored in a wrong way. I don't know if it was maybe a display bag, but it's not only these dents. So I'm trying to show you this. I hope the camera will pick it up so that you could see it. Do you see this? Oh, the lines here. It's really, really bad. And not only that, it actually has a lot of proper scratches as well. So I have to try and find them. I mean, I hope my phone quality can pick this up, um, but I, I just like, I was staring at the back for two hours yesterday um, because I wanted to film the unboxing. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I have to return this. Um, but I don't know if you can see it, but it's so disappointing. I mean, I hope the ring light picks it up. Like, this is not how the bag should look like at all. It's 
it's not even the leather grain or the leathers, um, you know, it's not the leather itself. It was definitely stored in a wrong way or used several times. And that's what I mean in comparison. Look how soft and, you know, beautiful the leather looks from the front. And then we see this and I was like, oh. You know, I'm a perfectionist. And it's not only that, look at the shape of the bag. So even if I stuff it, here it's quite round, um, like the dumpling shape it should have, basically. And here it's like really, I don't know, narrowing down towards the bottom. And it's not like this round, puffy shape that the bag should come with, obviously. And actually, what I found out, here you can see it as well. You know, even if you stuff it, like I tried, I tried everything, I stuffed it quite a lot yesterday. Um, here it's quite rounded and here it just like, choops. it's horrible, it's absolutely horrible. So the back is not symmetrically cut, that's what I can tell you. So it came with this little Bottega card. That's getting even more difficult now. Oh, okay, wait, so how can we do this? I don't know if you can see it. So you see those little metal pieces here, right? Okay. And the line, that's where both leather pieces are soon together, basically. So, oh, people, okay. Okay, can we see this? So the line should obviously go from one side of the metal piece to the other side, like this, basically. Like this, but it's basically soon together like that instead of like this, if you get what I mean, hopefully. <laughs> So um, I think the whole bag is just, you know, not the perfect model. I think there's a lot wrong with the symmetry of the bag. There's obviously a lot wrong with the backside of the bag. I mean, look at this. This is really not how a bag should look like at all. This is so sad. Ugh. Yeah. So all I can do, I guess, the chain is looking pretty good. So... You know, I was surprised. Um, I've seen chains in store that were pretty scratched up already because it was display models as well. But like, I can't live with this leather. I just can't. So I don't know, let me know what you would do. Um, would you keep it? Would you send it back? Um, I don't want to exchange it simply because I don't know what they sent to me then and my, I might have to send it back again, you know, so I'd rather look at bags in store again and choose one. And then after buying it, actually check in store that they gave me what I wanted to buy. Um, but yeah, I can't live with that. That's not how it should look like. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Oh, it's so sad. I was really looking forward for this bag for so long. You guys know it. I love this color. Um, I don't know if the color comes across properly. Look, is this eggplant aubergine purple color. It's a really dark, beautiful color. And yeah, it comes with the new Bottega Veneta dust bags with the green letters. And it's really good quality. It's so soft and beautiful. But yeah, this baby goes back and... Um, I hopefully find a new one after lockdown. Yeah, guys, so I thought I'm still gonna give you some modeling shots anyway <laughs> before we have to send this back back. And yeah, I mean, you know, from this side, this is the bad side actually with all the dents and the scratches. From this side, it looks quite okay and the way it should look like. However, if you turn it around, you can immediately see like, why is it, why is it so narrow on the one side, you know? I really don't get it. I think it's just the construction of the back has gone a little bit wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still want this bag for sure. I absolutely love the color. I love this purple. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sucker for purple. We know that. But no, oh, such a beautiful bag. And I think you can style it in so many different ways. And I don't think that the Bottega, you know, thing will be over soon. And by the way, I mean, I buy what I really, really love. And I mean, I... You know, I was thinking about this bag for, what, six months now? <laughs> and I try to really, 
you know, think about it. Do I want to have that bag? Do I still want to wear that bag when it's not in, in style anymore, you know? So I definitely want to do that. I love this bag. <laughs> um, usually if I fall in love with a bag, I say, think about it for like two plus weeks. And if you still have the butterflies, then, you know, you're probably going to love it for a long time. However, with this one, because so many people say, oh, it's going to, you know, once the style is over, everybody's just going to get rid of it. I don't think so. It's like with the mamos. You either love bags or you don't. And um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, such a beautiful bag. <sighs> I definitely want this one for sure. So I will love it forever. No matter, you know, once the hype is gone. I will still love it, just like my golden dumpling. Oh, I just wish this one was perfect, but it's not. So yeah, this is the bag and I think that's it, people. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here, because we all do have the same luxury disease. <laughs> and yeah, guys, I see you again very, very soon. Bye.